Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. It has been a bit of time since I have filmed and I'm so happy to be back. I wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone and today I am going to be sharing my December favorites. I've got a little bit of everything in here as well as a few fun Christmas gifts. So I thought today we would have a little fun kind of sharing what I was loving on in December and then I am so excited to be back filming. I've got some great content coming your way that I'm super excited about. So if you are interested in seeing my December favorites as well as a little bit of a Christmas haul, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first and foremost, uh, December was a crazy busy month. I had the best time having my kids home. We had a lovely holiday season and I also spent about two weeks kind of purging my beauty area. I hired my daughter to help organize all of my beauty products and kind of organize my closet and such. So the biggest highlight from the month of December was actually kind of working side by side with my daughter to get my life organized so that I can be a bit more organized this year, especially with my content. So I was super excited about all the hard work and just wanted to give my daughter Zoe a little shout out for all your hard work. It had gotten a bit overwhelming in my beauty room and such, and there's still a little bit more work to do, but it's so exciting to have all my drawers and makeup kind of organized and have a plan to go forward with. So that was my big number one highlight as well as just spending time with my family. I'm hoping all of you had a fantastic holiday season and that your 2024 is off to a good start. I thought today I would go ahead and jump in with a few skin care items that I have been loving. I have dry mature skin and I'm always seeking out products to add an extra layer of hydration and I'm a huge fan of essences. So an essence is going to be after you have washed and toned your face. I like to add an essence to sort of layer back in the hydration before putting on my serums and my moisturizer and my SPF. And I actually picked up the Sara Daru and Gothamista Essence collaboration. If you are a fellow skincare junkie, I am sure you have watched Renee on her site, Gothamista. She has the most gorgeous glass skin and she did a collaboration and created an essence. And I ordered this after watching one of her videos and this is 60% enhanced black ginseng water as well as up cycled herbal ingredients. I don't know exactly what is in here except that it is kind of a little thicker essence than I normally use and I absolutely love it. So I just take a few drops like this and I wanted to see if you can see this one. Essences are going to be a bit watery and such and this one has just a little bit more viscosity to it and it literally coats your face and gives you an extra layer of hydration that I have been needing, number one, for my skin with kind of the cold air and then the heat and such. And this one is just absolutely fabulous. And because of the kind of slightly thicker texture of an essence, I've almost been using this like 
after my serums and then coating this on. It has a little bit thick. I feel like it sort of seals in all of my serums. So this is just amazing. You can again use it after you have toned your skin then you can put your essence on and then your serums or you can uh, put your serums on and then use your essence and then your moisturizer and SPF. But this is adding a little extra layer of hydration and I just have really been enjoying this essence. And then another one that I just picked up is from Elia and this is the Base Face Milk. And again, this is sort of a hybrid essence. Uh, it is going to be very hydrating for the skin. It is going to be a milky texture. Let me open this up. And this is another one that I've just completely fallen in love with. And it has this lovely milky texture, just like that. And this one has a little bit more of a milky texture just like this says. I guess this is very similar to Road Beauty Skin Glaze. I don't know if it's Skin Glaze. It might be Milk Glaze. Anyways, an essence product from the brand Road, which is Haley Bieber, and I have not tried that, but I know that that product, um, I think it's the Glazing Milk. That's the product. <laughs> Um, I guess that it's very popular and this is Elia's version of kind of an essence, an extra layer of hydration and I've really been loving this one as well. So this one I would say is kind of a hybrid between a light moisturizer and an essence and this is just fantastic for any of us who need an extra layer of hydration or if you have oily skin, this could be your moisturizer. So this one's gonna be a little bit more of a hybrid moisturizer slash essence. I'm just using it as an essence. Uh, my skin is just gobbling up any extra hydration right now. And these two products have been incorporated into my routine. I don't generally use both of them at the same time. I could, but basically I've been kind of rotating between these two. Clearly I love this one. And then I wanted to try this base face milk. It just looked really attractive to me and I've just been completely loving it. So two new skincare products that I have just been loving. Then, as far as foundations, I'm gonna be honest, the past month I have had a lot going on and I was kind of leaning on skin tints with higher coverage concealers. And I'm so excited about this brand called G Beauty and they sell a product called Prime Skin. And, and I have gone down the rabbit hole um, with G Beauty. You're going to get a whole video coming up because I fell in love with this product and then I had to get a few more items to share with you. But this is a beautiful primer slash skin tint foundation. I have it in the shade 2 and I actually have shade 3 showing up as well. And I love this so much that I ended up ordering it in shade three, um, kind of to give a comparison for any of you that have the same skin tone as me. For this is the shade two and it matches pretty darn well. This is for light skin. And the cool thing about this product is that it's so easy to put on. I literally kind of just smoosh it on with my hands. You can use a brush as well, but it's got a little extra coverage than your typical tinted moisturizer, but it is going to give your skin a beautiful, healthy glow, but it is going to look like second skin. It's very hydrating and I just have really been enjoying this product. So I had actually been down in Miami and I had seen the G Beauty store but was there for a seminar and didn't have time to go in and play and I remember thinking in my mind to go and look up this brand because I was intrigued by it and, and then I saw this advertised on Joanna Check's 
website and she pretty much curates all the stuff that she truly loves. You don't really see anything on her site that she doesn't love and I was super intrigued by this. And then my friend Deb had been at Neiman Marcus and they just started carrying the G Beauty brand there and she was going gaga over this. So needless to say, I'm kind of in love with this product. I'm gonna be doing a whole video on this brand. But if you are somebody who loves tinted moisturizers or sheer coverage, but you want uh, your skin to look like your skin, but better, this is this in a bottle. I truly love this product and I'm so excited for the other shade to show up um, that's going to be for light to medium skin as well. But so far shade two totally works is what I'm wearing on my skin today. Easy to use and I just have been loving this product. Now, as far as concealer goes, my daughter and I had gone to a fun Clay de Poe event at Nordstrom and had gotten our makeup done by the kind of national or global makeup artist that they had brought in. And I have completely fallen back in love with Clay de Poe's The Concealer. Um, this has been a long time love of mine, but I hadn't used it in a while. And this is such a great kind of all purpose concealer, especially to use it on your skin. So what I have been enjoying using the last couple months has been kind of a lighter skin tint and then going in with a higher coverage concealer just where I need it. This one is creamy and delightful, high coverage. And I found that the secret to using this is to sort of heat it up with your hand, kind of really warm it up. And then it sort of just melts into the skin and it's gonna look super natural, but it is going to give you coverage. And when she put the makeup on my skin, um, I saw that she was sort of using this as my foundation and I just really like the way that my makeup wore that day. It was kind of creamy and flawless and I swear it was the concealer. So back in love with this product and I'm in the shade beige for any of you who are my skin twin. They matched me to beige and I'm going to go ahead. I've got a little something here. I'm going to go ahead, put a little extra coverage where I need it. And what I find is the heat of my fingertip is just going to kind of blend that in. And the heat of my fingertip is really going to kind of mesh this into my skin. So back in love with the concealer, have been using that, it is fabulous. If you haven't used yours in a while, pull that baby out and give it a try, kind of use it as foundation. I think you might love it. And then I did pick up another one of the Clay de Poe Eye Quads. You have heard me talk about the Play de Poe eye quads. They are stunning, especially for more mature skin. And this one is in Caviar Pearls. Again, it's got this little primer here, these gorgeous colors. This is what they used on my eyes. And I do have a full Clay de Poe video coming up. So I will be using this beautiful quad, kind of showing you how they used it on my eyes. But I just had to pick this up. It is so darn gorgeous. And again, this is Caviar caviar pearls. Okay, moving on to a little bit of Chanel. They launched their Le Beige Winter Glow Collection. I pretty much love the entire collection. I picked up the Le Beige. This is their new Healthy Glow Primer, and I picked this up in Icy beige. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know I don't always use a primer. I do really like them, but it's not something that I completely consistently do on a daily basis. But I do have to say I love this product. But I will say I have been using this product along with this product 
kind of as a foundation combo. So this is what Icy Beige looks like and it is very hydrating on the skin. Again, this is Icy Beige. I loved the tone of this one and I just find that this product kind of gave me a little extra hydration. It did make my makeup just sort of smooth on like silk. That's the reason people use primers. Maybe this will be the year that I actually use them consistently. And then it is supposed to kind of keep your makeup in place and fresh all day long. And this is a product that I've actually been using. As I said, I'll kind of use that as a base and then I'll go in with my higher coverage concealer where I need it and kind of use that as my complexion products for the day. So really enjoy this Le Beige primer. It comes in three different colors. I picked the middle one. There was one, I'm forgetting the name, but it was a little bit more snow. And then there was a deeper one that was a little bit more bronzy. Literally, I think I could use all three of them. I just kind of liked the middle I just kind of liked the slightly peachy undertone of this one. Then I picked up this beautiful Le Beige Rose Polaire blush. This is just a really pretty petal pink blush with a little snowflake embossed in here. And I have been really enjoying this blush. It gives me a nice little pink flush to my cheeks and this is something that I have been using since I picked this up. So really enjoyed this and again it came in three different colors. They were all gorgeous. I just went with the pink especially in the winter months. I feel like I need a little pick me up and a little flush of pink on the cheeks just kind of livens up my complexion. And then they launched another La Beige Healthy Glow Eye Palette and this one is in cool and I don't know if you can tell but this has been getting some love. So I'm already a fan of these La Beige eye palettes. They're kind of like my perfect eye palette. They don't have too many shades. I love the formula because it's a nice beautiful wash of color but it doesn't have to be too exact. I feel like these are great for some those of us who love makeup but maybe we are not like super editorial. One of my absolute favorites is the one in medium. This is often the eye palette that I grab for when in doubt. I will grab for this one and then they came out with this beautiful cool toned one and it is really truly gorgeous. It is not too pinky. Um, I just love the color story here and this kind of aubergine or eggplant color here uh, really makes my hazel green eyes pop. So this one's going to look beautiful on all eye colors, but if you have hazel green eyes, I think this is going to make your eyes pop a little bit more. And this is the eye palette that I wore to like most of my holiday events. I could create kind of a fun smoky eye, but within this cool toned color story and I just loved it. So, so personally, I love that entire launch and have been getting a ton of wear out of those products. And then the next thing I want to give a shout out to, another thing that I have been leaning on has been the Victoria Beckham, the Satin Kajal Eyeliners. I have been shopping my stash a bit. I did get the new eyeliner in cinnamon and I just love this for a one and done eye. That's what I like about these Satin Kajal. Um, when you're pressed for time, you literally can use this and then smudge it out as eyeshadow on your eyes so it's super easy. These are creamy and I picked up the new shade in cinnamon which is just gorgeous. A little softer cinnamon brown. So pretty. And another color that I have pulled out and have been loving is the one in olive and that one is just so 
pretty. It is not too mossy. It is not too teal. Um, kind of a really pretty neutral color. So that's been another way that I've been sort of having a fun. Kind of getting a big impact on the eyes but with using these Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal eyeliners. So loving on those. Cannot recommend them enough. And then for lip products I have to give a shout out to Lawless. As many of you know I have completely fallen in love with Forget the Filler. Their lip gloss. I just love it. They are so good. They rival my Dior lip maximizers. That's how much I love them. And they came out with a new shade in Cherry Vanilla. And you guys, I love this color. I'm having a little bit of a red moment. You will see in a minute I have something red or cherry I want to share with you. <laughs> but this has been my go-to color. It's going to give me just a little pop of cherry on the lips, nothing too bold. And now they actually came out with like a jumbo size of this, which I love. So if you have not tried Forget the Filler lip glosses, I'm telling you, you need to run out. Um, give it a try. Absolutely in love with this cherry vanilla color. And then they also have the lip balms and this also came out with cherry vanilla. And I just wanted to share this with you. If you are not a lip gloss fan but you love this color, um, they also have it now in the cherry vanilla and it is such a great Balm. It gives your lips a little bit of that sort of like a popsicle stain on here, like a cherry popsicle stain. And again, it's not too intense for those of you who uh, may not wear red lipstick or things like that. You are going to love this cherry vanilla because it's just a subtle little pop. And I just love these lip products. So, okay, moving on to a little bit of fragrance. Uh, my highlight from December is that my son Emmett was kind enough to do a video with me. We smelled so many beautiful scents and just had so much fun doing that video together. And the winner for Emmett and myself, I should say, are our number one pick was this gorgeous perfume from Roja. And this is Isola Blue. Just such a gorgeous presentation number one. This scent is just making me so happy. I will admit I do get the winter blues. I live in the Pacific Northwest and I have for quite some time. I do suffer from that seasonal affective disorder when there's no sun and it's kind of gloomy and such. I use scent to kind of lift me out of the doldrums and this is exactly that. This is kind of inspired by the Mediterranean, this gorgeous kind of turquoise blue cap that is sort of mimicking um, blue water by the beach. The notes in here include fresh zesty lemon, bergamot, it's got a touch of lime, pink pepper, and coconut but it is not too tropical it's kind of fresh and invigorating there's like a creaminess in here and both my son and I really like this one we were sort of bathing ourselves in this perfume and this was the special scent that I was wearing to some of our holiday parties and I was also getting some really nice compliments but the kind that just kind of say when they hug you like oh my gosh you smell so good they weren't like oh my gosh Eureka perfume um, it's one of those scents that's going to put a little smile on your face kind of draw you out of the doldrums and I'm just thrilled to have this in my collection. This is one that I do have a code. They actually sell it at Twisted Lily and I do have a code for that one because it is a splurge 
worthy fragrance. Um, but my code is Abby10 at Twisted Lily. So did want to share that. And anytime I have a discount code, I will always leave that down below in the description box. Sometimes I forget to mention it on air. So just please know I will always include them down below in the description box. And then another brand that I want to give a shout out to um, is Who is Elijah? And this is a very cool brand. It is marketed as a genderless perfume brand. And they sent me this Rebel Rose scent and I have just been loving on this one. This is Rose Spice and Wood. This Rebel Rose is perfect for this time of year. Again, this is one that my son really liked as well. It is not like your typical rose scent. It's got some saffron in here, labdanum, cumin, and pepper. So definitely a little bit spicy and warm. It's got Bulgarian rose patchouli, a touch of violet in here, as well as some leather, oud, amber, vanilla, and white musk. It's just a really gorgeous scent, kind of spicy, woody, and warm. But this is not a super uh, sweet kind of rose scent. This would be the rose scent I would recommend for people who think they don't like rose scents or they're like, I don't like rose scents. I kind of feel like they would love this Rebel Rose because the spices in here and the woodiness in here really balance it out. And I've really been enjoying this one as well from who is Elijah and you have already heard me talk about Haze from Who is Elijah as well. This one is such a beautiful kind of sweeter gourmand vanilla scent. It's kind of slightly smoky. Ooh, I love it. So, so Who is Elijah is definitely a perfume brand to check out. It's from Australia and a good way to experience their fragrances is they have a set called The Collective that comes with six of their best-selling fragrances. And again, Emmett and I had fun kind of smelling all of these together. So kind of a fun video to do with my son, but also really been enjoying this Who is Elijah. Okay, moving on to a little bit of fashion. Um, I wanted to share this adorable outfit that my kids got for me and I am a fan of Margaret O'Leary. I don't know if any of you have tried that brand before but I believe it's a San Francisco based brand and just kind of classic pieces. They have great denim if you're ever looking for denim. Um, if you go into the stores they sell great denim but the kids ended up buying me this outfit. This is this beautiful silk shirt along with this really awesome vest. So let me show you the shirt by itself. And this is just a beautiful classic silk shirt. Just really gorgeous little details, super soft, and it's got like a little tie here. You can wear this alone, but this is always such a beautiful piece just to have in your repertoire. And they had told me that when they were in the store, it was paired with this awesome sort of nubby sweater vest. And this was my Christmas gift. And this is the outfit that I wore to many of the holiday events as well. What I loved about this is I could wear this with denim and some boots um, for a more casual but a little kind of festive look. And then I also could pair this with, I have sort of a pleated skirt that looked really cute with this as well as just some black trousers. And I just really love this outfit so much. And I thought my kids did a great job with this gift. And then another adorable gift that I got was from Free People. And as you can see, I have yet to wear this one, but it is this adorable Chloe jacket. 
and I just think this is so darn cute. So as many of you know, I am a fan of pink <laughs> and floral a little bit. And this jacket is oversized like most free people things. Um, I wouldn't pair it with this black underneath, but it is just so darn cute. It's got little pockets here. This is the Chloe jacket. They come with, they always come out with sort of a different pattern story every year. It is basically a quilted jacket. And this is just so cute. I can see myself wearing this so with a tankard tee um, and my jeans. This is just kind of a little statement piece but I thought that was just a really sweet present. I haven't worn it yet. I kind of feel like I will wear this a bit more in the spring, but it is just so darn cute. And again, they do have these in a couple different patterns, but this is a Free People, and I have this in the size extra small. Again, Free People's clothes run quite oversized and large. So um, I, that one is even quite roomy as an extra small. And speaking of oversized is their cozy puffer. This is the Free People puffer. And I am kind of in love with this cherry color. So this is this really oversized cherry puffer and I have to admit I wasn't sure if I was even going to keep it because it really is quite large and oversized and I am not the tallest person so I always feel like free people is sort of targeted towards those that are very tall and lean um, and I love so many of their styles but they can look a little dumpy on somebody who's a little bit shorter but I absolutely love this color of this puffer and I prefer to wear this kind of open versus like totally um, buttoned up because I feel like it makes me look oompa loompa as you can see here. But if you want something ultra cozy, ultra comfortable with a little pop of color, then I think you may love this Free People Puffer. It is just so cozy and comfortable. I think the cherry red again kind of gives you a little pop of color when it is a little bit kind of the doldrums of winter. I think you need things that are going to pull you out, make you happy, give you a smile, and this jacket definitely does that. If cherry is not your color, this jacket also comes in a really fun kind of fuchsia pink that I think is adorable as well as a few other shades. But this is just a lovely little cozy piece to get me through the winter. So those are all of my December favorites. I am so excited to be back on track with filming and I've got some really fun content coming up this week so stay tuned for that. I've got a Clay to Poe video, G Beauty as well as a Sephora haul so lots of fun stuff that will be coming your way and again happy new year everyone and I will be back with another video soon.